Hello, folks, and welcome to Power Rangers Unboxing Mania. We're going to do it a little different than usual. So, I uh, picked up a Power Rangers Lightning Collection um, at Ross the other day. We're going to open it up at the end of this. But first, let's get into it. Power Rangers, okay, came out. Um, the 90s from Bandai was a franchise that I didn't want to have anything to do with because honestly I was a little bit almost a little bit too old for it when it came out I was in third grade and later that year I would uh, go on to start reading things like Stephen King and getting into some really adult shit so what do we got here okay the Power Rangers um, action figure series okay first one that I picked up <clears throat> We got the Red Ranger, okay? His name is Jason, and um, they have a uh, karate kick action. Hiya, 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 hiya. Okay, this one works great. Got this off of eBay for about 12 bucks. They have um, very well articulated limbs. Um, their fingers move. They even have like a trigger finger that moves, okay? Really cool figures. Didn't realize how articulated they were back then. Because they didn't really have anything like this um, at the time. You know, we went from, um, you know, the Star Wars figures that were like 7.5, 3.75. The uh, G.I. Joes. And then they moved up a little bit to the, like, the 90s figures. And then they got even bigger for Power Rangers. And you're like, oh my god, this is pretty cool. He comes with a little blaster. Um, and a holster to put it in. So... Yeah, go Power Rangers. You put that in there. So we got this one. Okay, first I picked up that one. All right, cool. Okay. And then I got uh, this guy. His name is Guitardo. He's one of the uh, aliens that they fought in Power Rangers and um, notably the aliens are not as well articulated as the uh, regular Rangers they do come with weapons though it's got a little bit little spiky thing and a little bill hook um, looks like a big old mosquito and I had this guy right up until the end um, even as like an adult I think this is one of the last figures that we got rid of before we moved so we got this guy and then I got the um, got him for about around 10 bucks less than 15 okay. then next oh, I picked up the um, alien monster creator this guy is Finster he is um I used to play him as him in the on the um, playground <laughs> when I couldn't be one of the rangers he's got all of his little tools for making monsters um his little apron is not connected to the rest of his body which is cool although he does not come with any accessories which is why I was able to get him for like eight bucks on eBay that next <clears throat> rhino blaster another one of the aliens and another one of the guys that i had um right up until the end didn't realize he was he was a power ranger guy forgot about him over the years he's like a bat mixed with a rhino beetle very um very sturdy which is why i'm glad to get these kinds of toys i'm getting ready for my boy to be born and eh, four years from now three four years from now he'll be ready to play um, with these types of toys and he's not going to get it but as busted up as like some other ones that i that i would be having him play with you know what i mean so we had this guy he was about 12 bucks <laughs> okay and then next um i got a two pack And I got for 20 bucks, I got, um, it was a deal. So I got the Black Ranger, Zack, 
okay? Classic Black Raven. And then Lord Zed. So he is the uh, other evil bad guy. So it started with Rita Repulsa. And then Lord Zed came in and he was like, I'm taking that. I'm taking over the show now. He's a very evil bad guy. And you can see his, like, his brain through his... Um, through his suit in the, in the series. And I always thought that was that always stood out to me. He's got his big Z, um, you know, big Z staff. And then he's got his blaster. And of course, his karate kick action. Kick him in the balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now we can get to the Beat the Raven film. So this is the Power Rangers Lightning Crux collection from Hasbro. Um, the Yellow Beast Morpher. Okay. I opened a couple of my other figures the other day and I was like, oh, these are pretty cool. Well, maybe I should make a little video where I open them. This is just like opening them, you know. careful because I like hanging these back up. Oh you fucker. I tore it. Let's just take it back up. Mm. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, I believe her name is Zoe, so, um, well, she's not as stiff as uh, some other figures are, um, in this style, so that's cool. She's like, hey, how you doing? <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Okay, she comes with a cool, the head. A little blaster for her arm, little um, or I think it goes on her sword, little sword, and then um, hand, karate chop hand, and then the karate fist hand. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get her power ranger head on. <clears throat> Pull it off, pop it on. <clears throat> yeah, and then you get the sword. Handle enough to accept it. There we go. Okay. So she got that. Yeah. And then, um, I think you put the laser on her. Yeah. There. Yeah. It goes on here like this. Yeah, she doesn't have any karate kicking action, but she's still pretty cool. She's got a little harness. Pretty cool. She's ready to fight the putties and the rest. So that's been this episode of Power Rangers Unboxing Mania. This has been Alex Manzoni with uh, the Rangers, and um, he's going to be kicking, kicking some nuts in. Kick everybody in the nuts before we're over. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yuck, yuck. Yo! Okay. And <laughs> see ya. <laughs>